Thank you, Wakaba. Of course, here in Heldoret, we've been keeping an eye on the fresh political storm. And currently, I'm at the Eldoret Diocese, where I'll be talking to Reverend Bishop Cornelius Corir of this Eldoret Catholic Diocese. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us uh, this afternoon. And of course, we'll be talking a uh, number of issues, including what effect that, this, that the prolonged election period have on the economy and business of this country. First of all, I would like to say the fear that we used to have 2008, that fear is, is, is not service yet. So there is no point of business bull fearing. And since now is uh, it's between the runoff, is between the two, His Excellency the President Uru and Honorable Raila. So I don't think it will affect the North Rift as such as business. As I say, the fear which need to be removed and the assurance from the government itself. The second fear is always what will happen in case there is a violence. As we have passed through the first election, there was no sign of violence at all. So what we are insisting is that even this one, there should not be a violence at all. From this, we have not discovered anything yet. Mm -hmm. Yes, so people should walk as business and wait for the day for the election itself. Okay. Yes. Bishop, uh, there have been accusations from public and other quarters that the church has been silent where as political leaders uh, engage or maybe undermine the independent institutions, including the electoral body and the judiciary. Uh, first of all, we, the church has not kept quiet because the ruling was only on Friday. Yes. And we're here today, it's Monday. And the church, the stand is, the, the all people of Kenya should respect institutions like uh, court, judiciary, which is so important in the country. Judiciary is the backbone of the peace in the country. So nobody should interfere with it. And we have been saying, we have we've been giving advice that either the president or honorable Raila should not, nobody should not interfere in the judiciary in any way, because it's within the constitutional right. And once we interfere with our constitution, we are interfering the lives of Kenya. That is the way we look at it. The IBC was given mandate, and the mandate from the Supreme Court states so clearly, let the IBC organize another election. The Supreme Court, I did not hear saying, talking about against the IBC. So what the issue, why they are coming in, is nowhere, it's nowhere. So what we are saying is, let us respect this institution laid down by our constitution and we'll have peace in Kenya. But thirdly, the, we are urging the people of Kenya to wait for the day the IBC will announce and uh, the day they can begin their campaigns. But this counter accusation, accusation is not necessary. Let us stick to our guideline of our constitution. The Supreme Court was so clear that it was, the last election was not, the constitution was not followed. So it was saying, let them follow the right way of constitution of doing conducting election. That's all we are saying. But the church will continue speaking against them. And we are advising all the, the NASA and Jubilee, please don't incite the people. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, as I continue to say that the politicians uh, have continued to issue statements that has been undermining this electoral board or this independent institution, like if you had from the president's side, the jubilee part, is that four people cannot decide for this country. Also on the other side, uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga has been saying since some commissioners engaged in election multiplexes, they cannot also conduct another fresh election. The number does not matter. What matters is the constitutional way of handling the issue of Kenya. Whether there are four, five, or what, what is the constitution saying? This is what I'm saying. Anytime the leaders go out of constitution, then we are leading this country in this array. The other part of, um, of NASA also, saying there are some members, 
But first of all, have they identified the people concerned so that they say pinpoint what is it? Mm -hmm. So, but we are saying let we give chance the IPC unless the court or the ruling comes in. Mm -hmm. But let us give our chance to these people. That can be very easy. I like your Bugatti statement that let the prosecutor come and inspect and check, yes. Mm -hmm. That should be, as I want to repeat, the moment we move out of constitutional way of life in Kenya, we are making a big mistake. Okay. Yes. Lastly, Bishop, your word. My word is to appeal the Kenya to do, to, to be calm and peaceful, go back to election again, and do uh, elect the leaders they want out of their choice. Let the people decide, as they have already decided on governors and others, but this one they can steal. I don't see any problem of the runoff. Eh? Let the people of Kenya decide. And I would like to ask the people of Kenya to keep peace, and especially our leaders, whatever they are, let them matter for peaceful solution of Kenya issues. Okay. Many thanks, Bishop. Thank you. Wakaba, you've heard from Reverend Bishop Cornelius Correr of the Catholic Diocese here in Eldoret. Of course, he's been asking politicians to keep calm and also is asking Kenyans there to keep peace uh, during this electioneering period. Wakaba. Well, indeed, indeed, thank you very much, the, my colleague uh, Elvis Koske, coming live to us from uh, Eldoret was in Geshu County with the perspective from the religious leaders in that region that of course they're being as he said Bishop Cornelius Coril he is the head of the diocese of Wasin Geshu well